Hey guys, I am so excited to be here with you for another Kids Church video. <laughs> so, this whole month we are talking about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And I think what's really special is that when we have the Holy Spirit living inside of us, when we ask Him to come fill us up with His fruit, He fills us with all of those fruits. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and all of the other ones. It's amazing. All right, everybody, we're here in Georgia, in the mountains. Yeah! And we have some pickled peaches. Pickled what? peaches, because why not? Because we're in Georgia, they got peaches, yeah. so let's open up, smell test first. Oh, I no. think this is gonna be delicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet and mm. <laughs> okay, okay. You want a fork? We gotta go bare hands, I think. Bare hands? Okay. No way, you'll get a fork. I think it's gonna be delicious. What? I'm, I'm in on this. Alright, Heidi, Nadia just got wrecked in Monopoly, you guys. I oh, no. won Monopoly big time. Anyway. I went out place, so she was out first, so she has to eat the peach first. There's a pit in that still. There's big seeds inside of it, so. It's one bite. Mm -hmm. It's one bite. Oh, wait, I should get a pit mark. Is it good? It looks like a pear almost now. Weird. That's gross. It's kind of good, actually. Huh? Peaches. She likes it. Oh my gosh. Ow! It's weird. Yeah. Mm. Well, I thought you said you, you thought you were gonna like it. I thought I was gonna like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Let me taste. No. I, like it. I said I swallowed it though. I want to taste. No, you don't taste. Ew! You like it? <laughs> no. <laughs> you like it? No. <laughs> How do you like that? Good work. Let me show you that roll. It's like. Let me smell it. I don't know what it's like. It's. It's like vinegar peaches. It's just. Oh, is that a good smell? Nice. How big? Oh, big. So little, yeah. man. Oh, I'm not eating it, man. No, you, you smell it. You smell it. I mean, it's swallowable. It's, it's like it's, you can you can eat it, but it's not mm -mm. it's not good. No. Oh, look at her. So she's got the whole. Okay. No. Oh. All right. So what do we think? Can I get one? Not bad. Really? Heidi? It's not good. <laughs> not good. <laughs> it's not good. It's not, not bad. bad. It's not good. <laughs> She's the girl that will eat it. Look, Look at this one here. Look at this. I like this. She's the one here. Late night pickled peach eating contest. How many can you get? Ready, go. Can I have another one? You have another one? Yeah, you can have another one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, All right, so I don't want to pickle peaches. Yes I, or no? I want to try it, but I don't want to be thumbs filmed. up, thumbs down. Yes or no? That was a tiny bite. you like them or no? Uh, I don't care. Like no, never, ever, ever. <laughs> the moral of the story is don't pickle mess. Jar. I mean, don't mess with a fruit that's already good, right? That's right. Here, yeah, guys, if you want to, peach if good. You want to make these? Like the fruit of the you spirit. You don't need to do anything. Don't mess with the fruit of the spirit. Yes. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, so <laughs> don't, don't, don't mess with the fruit of the spirit. Yeah. That's right. If, God if, made it one way. God made it one way. way. There we go. You go, you don't change them. You don't pickle the fruit of the spirit. They're not the fruit of the pickled spirit. Don't pickle the fruit of the spirit. You heard it here first, Kate <laughs> McKenzie. Don't do that. I was thinking it. He was saying it. Yeah. Have a good day, guys. We love you. See you. Bye. 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 I'm going to have this whole jar. <laughs>you but sometimes I have tried to create my own like fruit like what? I've tried to create love or create joy or create peace and it goes really well for a little while but then as soon as things get hard it's 
like the joy goes away or the peace goes away because like I'm trying to create it on my own and it's just not working. And you know, it kind of reminds me of a balloon. Like this balloon here, handy dandy, it just happened to be sitting here. Now, if I try to create my own joy or my own peace, my own patience, I, it works well for a little while. I'm like, oh, everything's going great. Life is great. I'm having fun with my friends. School is awesome. But then suddenly, sometimes things get really hard. Fire. See it. Sometimes things can get really hard. And as soon as I get into a fight with my siblings or something really hard happens at school, all this different. Whoa! My balloon just deflated. Guys, do you see the hole right oh, there? No. Look at that. Look at the hole. Wow. It, just, it didn't even just pop. It just... Like, deflated on its own. And that's kind of like what happens with us. When I try and create my own joy, I just say, I'm going to be so joyful today and that's going to be a great day. That's not how joy is, is done. Like... But when we have the fruit of the Spirit, when we ask the Holy Spirit to fill us and to give us His joy, then no matter what happens, we can still be joyful. We can still be grateful for all of the amazing things that God has given us. Yeah. We can even have peace. That There's a verse in the Bible that says, don't be anxious about anything, but pray and give it up to God. Thank God and the peace of God, the peace of the Holy Spirit will guard your heart. And that is when we start to look a little bit more like this balloon. And it looks exactly like the other one, right? But if we shake it, it's filled with water. See the water in there? Yeah. Wow. And this is like when we are filled with the Holy Spirit. So instead of trying to create my own joy and my own peace, I ask the Holy Spirit to fill me with His love, His joy, His peace, and now our balloon's not quite popping. When hard things happen, when we get frustrated about something, when we have a really hard test at school, we can rely on the Holy Spirit and not ourselves. It's not lighting again. Oh no. There we go. To say, Holy Spirit, I need you to fill me. I can't make my own joy. I can't make my own peace, but he is there with us. Even when things are hard, even when things get sad, even when we're tempted to worry about something, we can pray and say, Jesus, I need you. And so that's what I want us to do right now. Because we've, we've just been talking about joy and peace, pretty specifically. But I love that there is a verse in the Bible that says the joy of the Lord is our strength. That doesn't mean that we're going to become Superman if we have the Holy Spirit give us joy. What? But it says it gives us strength to be grateful, to be thankful for the things that God has given us. The best thing being he gave us his son and who died on the cross for us to save us. That is so cool. So I don't know about you. I want to have his joy. I want to have his peace that will last just like this balloon did from the fire. So let's pray. I want you to repeat after me. Say, Holy Spirit, please come and fill me Give me your joy and your peace so I don't have to do it on my own. I can't do it on my own. I need you. Please come fill me and be with me and show me how much you love me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Guys, that was awesome. We have a friend who wants to make sure that she can say goodbye, but we will see you next time. Okay. Shoot! <laughs>